around the world will have a chance to reach out and talk with one or more of the shuttle astronauts. As Laura Diaz reports, a group of Orange County teenagers whom we can't identify because they're in custody are hoping those uh, to catch Columbia with its ears on. When the space shuttle Columbia lifted off from Cape Canaveral, it held an especially bright promise for ham radio operators. For the first time, laymen were given a chance to communicate with an astronaut in space. Here in Orange County, some five youthful offenders at the Probation Department's Youth Guidance Center attempted to make contact with Dr. Owen Garriott. It was a tense four minutes as this amateur radio club waited to hear that its transmission was received. This is WB6 NUD calling Whiskey Bravo 6, November Uniform Delta. This the chances of getting through to the shuttle in Southern California were 1 in 10,000. It's estimated that 800,000 ham operators across the world will try to communicate with Garriott at specified times in the next week. Even though communication was never reached today, these young radio enthusiasts were ready and willing. My hopes were up, really, and I thought we were going to communicate with them, but when other ham operator, uh, you know, other ham operators, you know, came on, you know, it didn't get through. I'm just really disappointed that the other ham operators didn't prepare for this because this, this is a one time thing. It's the first time they ever tried anything like this. And if they were trying to transmit to them, they should have been better prepared and knowing what they were doing because they really messed up a lot of other people. Well, I never talked to an astronaut before. And I, you know, just, just like to hear one, really. Today's attempt at talking to astronaut Owen Garriott came after five months of study for these youngsters. And even though they were unsuccessful, they plan to try again this evening. In Santa Ana, Laura Diaz, Channel 7. Chip Columbia, there's going to be an astronaut who's going to go on shortwave radio and call down to Earth. And there are some kids sent to the bucket by Orange County Juvenile Court judges who hope to contact the spaceship Columbia. All of those stories on this edition of Orange County Today. Our first guests are Doug Borkman and Sue Collin of the Youth Guidance Center. Doug is a counselor there, and Sue is the assistant superintendent.